guys, in this video I am going to be showing you my thrifted favourites of late, the things that I've been picking up secondhand, where I got them from, how much they were, and yeah, just talking about how much I love them. I was going to put this in my monthly favourites video, but I didn't have time, so that's what this is if you've come from that video. Hey, hello, welcome. I'm going to jump straight on into it because I've struck gold, and I think the reason why I'm so grateful to have struck gold is because I was in a bit of a rut secondhand shopping wise and I think I'm going to make a separate video on like consumer guilt because honestly I got myself into a real rut because I couldn't find what I wanted secondhand and I was determined not to shop first hand and I couldn't find sustainable brands that were cheap that I liked the style of for the things I needed. I was in need of a lot of basics and I was basically finding it hard to put outfits together because I felt like I was missing some basics and I think it is quite hard to put outfits together when you don't have the basics down it's hard to get full use out of your secondhand wardrobe and your more out there pieces if you know what I mean more kind of vintage statement pieces if you will. So I've got some basic pieces I've been loving, I've got some more unbasic pieces and I just I hope you enjoy. I'll be showing you them close up and tried on because I did a thrift haul the other day and the angle of the camera was awful. I was holding everything off camera. Really not all that helpful when it's a video. You kind of want to see see the item. So yeah. Sorry about that. I'm going to start with my most recent purchase that I've been loving and this I got about 2 weeks ago. I got it from the YMCA in Chelsea. So it's a charity shop. A weird charity shop is on the King's Road. Or it's King's Walk, I think that's what the centre's called. But it's a very strange layout. If you've ever been there, you'll know what I mean because it, it kind of looks like an abandoned shopping centre. And then they've got two floors of charity shop stuff kind of in the mid. It's very strange. But it's got good stuff there. I recommend checking it out. It's also got homeware and menswear and DVDs and CDs and charity shop stuff, you know, sofas, you know. Um, but I picked this up for £8 there and I love it. So I've been looking for a backpack for work. Can you see it? Am I holding it? Up. okay I'll show you it close up but it's a faux leather backpack originally from Topshop it's got three big pockets and like I say I was looking for a backpack for work I found this backpack I've been looking for a backpack for work oh, lens cap <laughs> been looking for a backpack to take stuff to work in and this is originally by Topshop it's pleather and it's only eight pound I feel like this could be a winner I really did strike gold with this, I got exactly what I wanted, it's a good size, it's got a drawstring but it's also got this little clasp. I mean it would be better if it was a zip underneath because obviously when you're in a city, pickpockets, pickpockets everywhere. But it's alright, it's okay, it, it's still quite secure and it feels really well made. It, I would guess it'd be about £60 from Topshop new and I got it for £8 and I like that it's faux leather, like I, I do buy second hand leather but sometimes when it's a quite a big item. I like having something that's faux leather because when I go to vegan places and stuff and people might, might look at my second hand leather pieces and think, I don't know, you know what I mean? I just, I like it that it's faux leather. A very practical purchase that I've been loving and obviously using every day because going to work, you know? A bit more of an out there item. This jacket I've been wearing so much. I showed it in that thrift haul that I did that I mentioned and this is a bright yellow jacket I got for £2 and it's a very classy kind of jacket. It's more of a blazer style but it's not too clunky. Originally by the brand Winsmore. You know it's fancy when it's got one of these little chain labels, you know what I'm saying? I wore this quite a lot when I was in Poland. We only went there for like a long weekend but I wore it a lot there. It's nice for when you've got quite a toned down outfit, like a monochroma, monochromatic outfit, to chuck this on. I've been wearing it a lot, I love it a lot. It's beautiful and it's not too thick as well, it's not too kind of blazery, if you know what I mean, because I feel like blazer style doesn't suit me too much. I've also been loving this but I've only had it for a few days. It's this knitted jumper. This was a bit more expensive, this was £12 but I love it and it's cashmere I'm pretty sure but it's got these embellished pearls all over it and it comes into like a v-neck and kind of pinches in at the waist. It's not overly thick but it's so warm and I love this a lot but again I've only had this for two days. It's not really a monthly favourite. Let's see, what other stuff did you pick up? How much? 5 Hmm, that's quite a lot. I love these red trousers. What size are they? Eight. Two pound? Should I try them on if they don't fit? Yeah, where are they from? If not, I'll have them. Oh, they're nice. Mm, they're really nice, but they look too small for me. I find that sh these kind of shoes, like you always find good styles in charity shops, but always too narrow yeah, I feel for the wide fitted like girl. Shoes. Yeah, these are really nice. What size are you in Europe? Should I try them on? They'll be too narrow. Look, I know by looking now. 
And it's got zip. This bag is so pretty. And the fray is just sort of the, the price. They're already on half price. So. I'm going to talk about something that's first hand now. This is a dress that I have. I love this. I want a second one just because if they ever stop making them, I'll be devastated. This is a mini dress by the brand Sisterhood and they are based in Manchester. I got this off ASOS Marketplace. I swear it's an exact dupe of a Reformation dress, like those small dresses that are kind of fitted at the torso. It's handmade in England. It was £45, so quite expensive, but the service is amazing. The delivery is so fast. I love the brand. I have nothing but good things to say about this brand. I did order another dress from them when I placed the order, but I didn't like that one too much, so I sent it back, and they're more than happy to accept returns, which is amazing. Even though it's not ASOS, it's like a... It's like a Depop for ASOS. If you know what I mean? Like an eBay for ASOS, but you can't bid on things. You can only buy things from sellers. So that's that one. If you like the Reformation style, but you don't have that kind of money, that brand is for you because they dupe a lot of their stuff. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to this body that I picked up from Urban Outfitters. Not from Urban Outfitters. It's originally by Urban Outfitters, but I got it from Depop. It is this dusky pink body with a really low back. And I've had a cream one from Depop before that was also the same brand. And I'm going to be buying every single one of these secondhand because the quality is amazing. It's so soft. It's so flattering. It's a really good basic piece to wear underneath or with other uh items of clothing obviously in winter as you go it gets colder usually in the uk it usually gets colder it's getting colder already i'm wearing a knit jumper you know but yeah i will be buying all of these from depop so don't bother searching for them if you want to search for them the brand is out from under but i'll be buying all of them so <laughs> back off a huge shout out to these trainers that need a clean <laughs> these white trainers i picked up for three pound second hand from a charity shop and i've been looking for trainers again just for everyday wear for work trainers aren't really my style but i think these are quite cool again they need a wash don't get me wrong they are pretty grubby they're like this mesh kind of knit on the outside they're really really comfy probably not waterproof i haven't worn them in torrential weather yet but they're they're nice they're really comfortable i've been looking for trainers that i can just wear day to day walking to work and these look really funky I don't really know how to hold them <laughs> but I think they look funky trainers aren't really my style I have to admit they're not really my vibe the whole kind of streetwear urban wear kind of what's the word <laughs> sp <laughs> what is it L sport luxe that's it the whole kind of sport luxe vibe is not my thing but I think these are nice they look good with straight leg jeans they look good with my Levi's they're good they're nice I like them a lot and I've, they were three pound from a charity shop so huge shout out to these guys they've been doing me well and the last ethical fashion favorite i wanted to mention is this coat i again i mentioned this in my haul video but i've been wearing this so much it is a bit long on me it doesn't trail along the ground or anything but it definitely looks better when i've got some shoes on that have a bit of height to them um it just comes to a nicer level but i've worn them like with my trainers before and i get so many compliments again on this it looks like quite a fancy i've got my life together it's covered in hairs my <laughs> my hairs just fall out at a rate of knots pardon the pun because <laughs> my hair is quite knotty as well but yeah I get so many compliments on this because I, I feel like it makes me look like an adult like I've got my stuff I've got my life together and I'm wearing a nice coat that is covered in my hair and I don't care you know because I've got my life together and I was thinking about taking out the shoulder pads that are inside but I actually don't mind them I think they're all right I also don't know how I would get to them but yeah I love this cream coat it's got a tie at the waist and it's kind of like a trench coat but thicker because I do have a trench coat but it's not it's very very lightweight and I feel like now the weather's getting colder this kind of thing is is needed it's like having a blanket wrapped around you and I love it a lot I'm all about that I'm all about going out in a <laughs> kind of blanket coat now I've got a blanket coat and a duvet coat excellent that that's what you want in life isn't it <laughs> um yeah, that's everything. That's everything I had to talk about. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you've been secondhand shopping recently and you've got anywhere to recommend that's like the south of England, I've heard Margate has got some quite good secondhand shops. I've been recommended that twice now, so let me know if you've ever been to Margate and gone to the secondhand shops because I'm very interested in going. If you've got anywhere to recommend or if you've picked up anything cool, please do let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And give this video a thumbs up maybe if you liked it. Maybe subscribe if you want to see some more from me. I hope you have a cracking day and hopefully I shall catch you in my next video. Bye guys. Oh, 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 oh,